paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman, you have a telephone call at the front desk. Hello and welcome to episode 110 of River Bottom Bandits. This is the week of August 14th. We've got a lot of really heavy stuff to discuss this week. Uh, we've got another uh, interview by TJ, with TJ. And we are also looking forward to another phone patch sort of store via Bandit Blondie and Bad Boy. All right, you know who's next? Prozac Team. Hello America and good tidings to you. This is the Prozac Teen and I am here to give you your new releases for the upcoming week which includes August 14th. August 14th we have The Kill List which is a horror film put out by IFC Midnight. That could be promising. Next we have Tonight Your Mind. This one seems to be about a rock show, British rock chicks. Next up, we have The Raid, Redemption. This one is advertising that it has music by Linkin Park's Mike Shinoa, which basically probably says that it sucks. Then we have Hick. Hick actually looks somewhat interesting. It is a small town teenager story of a girl that goes to Las Vegas. Las Vegas has lots of lights, which seems to attract people like moths. They go there looking for romance and then get bugs at. Then we have the Snowtown Murders. This is another IFC Midnight release. And then for television series, we have the sixth season of Dexter. Dexter is everybody's favorite psychopath that is doing good for the community and somehow that gets in under the radar. But then, we have one more release to talk about. This is August 18th, we have The Hunger Games. Now, I am very excited about this one because to coincide with that, I have actually been chosen to participate in a real life version of The Hunger Games. So, I will be going in the coming days to go and slay other people. And if you're one of those people who thinks you're too cool for battle, for uh, the Hunger Games, rather, because of the fact that you saw Battle Royale, congratulations for you. But anyway, I am looking forward to going and participate in the Hunger Games, so I am going to, without further ado, sign off, and you guys can all kiss it. Goodbye from Prozac Teen. See you whenever. Bye-bye. Well, my favorite musical, probably my one of my favorite movies of all time is All That Jazz. Came out, I haven't done my research, that's mid-70s. Um, um, no, Liza Minnelli is, it's, they're both Bob Fosse productions, who's, who's my hero, Bob Fosse. But um, Liza Minnelli's in, um, takes place in Berlin, Cabaret. And yeah, yeah, quite a piece of work. But, so if you like the cabaret, which um, I was fortunate enough to have Liza Minnelli smile at me once, and I, Bob Fosse smile at me once too, he even spoke to me. Well, I've spent a lot of time in dressing rooms, and um, this would be the Gunquit Theater when I met Bob Fosse. And because my mother was a makeup and wardrobe, whenever the girls came off stage, I would look at them right from their feet to their hair to see how the makeup and wardrobe was, mm -hmm. right? Plus, plus it was appealing. And I look over and there's this little guy smoking cigarettes. He was much taller than I was. And he's giving me this devilish grin and he says, it only gets better, kid. And I didn't know what he was talking about. I said, what, what gets better? My mother's done a great job on the makeup and wardrobe. I said, hey, I was looking at it with a professional eye. And how old are you? I was about 12, he says, and he thought my interest was, well, I was probably about 10. So Bob Fosse did the choreography for All That Jazz? For All That Jazz. It's actually an and autobiographical Kevin. film, and um, what it taught me more than anything was it made me aware of how driven an artist is. There's an art to everything, 
so anyone can be driven to do something. But he is an artist, being a choreographer and an um, art director. I started to realize that all these problems that he has, he's making for himself because he's driven, because he has to do this. He says, dude, no one's making you do this. <laughs> and uh, no one but himself. And it gave me a huge appreciation for any artist for the rest of my life. First wow. time I saw it was on HBO. Be like, oh, yeah, 75 ish or so. I saw that and Apocalypse Now, both at the same time. Two of my favorite movies, man. But I um, uh, saw a wonderful interview with him on Dick Cavett. And that's when I found out I'd met him because my mother goes, You, you, I says, I've seen that guy. And she goes, Yeah, you met him at the, uh, he was in a gunkwit when we were doing Sweet Charity. I says, Really? And she told me the whole story. Yeah, I says, he says, used to hang around a lot. It turned out he was putting the moves on my mother. I didn't know that. I was only 10. <laughs> It's got my favorite dance routines ever in the world. It has an incredible psychedelic overtones. You're constantly fading in and out, as he was, out of fantasy and reality, because he have these heart attacks and and it's. I think it's it's my favorite movie just about in the world. Huh. I really can't go on about it that much, except that he flirts with death through the whole movie. They're winking at each other, double entendres, cute conversations, taking pictures of each other and that stuff. And when she finally puts her hands on his face, he goes, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to do this. And his whole life changes. Yeah. Is this so? Yeah, okay, good. TJ recommends. TJ recommends. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite movies. Cool. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, we're back. We're back. back. Um, so what are you looking forward to? Hunger Games? What is that, a Friday release? That's a Friday release. They really know how to they really know how to whet my appetite for a new release. Yeah, it's like it's like dangling dangling a sausage in front of your nose. Uh, or or a movie with Josh Hutcherson. Yeah, ladies, they he should be the new they sh LL Cool J should come down and say, Listen, sorry, I used to be LL Cool J because it stood for ladies love. Uh, cool J, but now Josh Hutcherson, you are the new LL Cool J. LL Cool J A. Cool Josh Hut. Yeah, Cool Josh. Cool James. Whatever. The uh, yeah. It also um, also this week we're getting the Ray Redemption. Yeah, we've been excited about that one for like a year. We were talking about the raid because we were waiting to see it forever because it's tons of action. Yeah, it looks like it could be as good as the Expendables, which was really good. Yeah. Whew. Um, yeah, whenever I think of it, I just think of that one scene in the trailer where the guy, like, knocks the guy down and shoots him right in the side of the head in point-blank range. It's that kind of movie. Brutal. Wow. Brutal. Did you get my, uh, did you get my bit about, um, smoking the bandit? I just picture, uh, bandit with a, with a mustache and a cowboy hat. That was what I was going for in uh, about 2004. Yeah, with your cowboy shirt. Um, well, anyways, there are a couple movies that I wanted to talk about. We we barely touched on The Raid. Um, so I guess The Raid looks really cool. Yeah, I'm watching it tonight. Cool. I'm just hoping it's not. it doesn't just look like a live-action video game. That's my worry. Yeah, I mean, that game was almost almost exactly a video game yeah you, all you can really do is a, a, a sideways kick there sidekick yeah no I don't know <laughs> well, talk about the Hunger Games. yeah I wanted to talk about the cast for Hunger Games are you are you, are you aware that the cast of this movie bandit I've heard I've heard a little bit about it I yeah. mean you've, you've got your your, your requisite uh, your cast of, of teenage uh, you know, ch cheesecake with uh, with like Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutchinson, and and Thor's, and Thor's little brother, and Elizabeth Banks, and uh, well, and then there's Elizabeth Banks and Lenny Kravitz, and Lenny Kravitz, <laughs> Woody Harrelson, Stanley Tucci, and to top it all off, Donnie Soso. Wow, yeah. how old is Donnie Soso? Donald Sutherland? Are, you mean? Yeah. 
he's he's got to be 95 years old. <laughs> I still think my number one favorite Donnie Soso movie is Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It's about this ship out in the middle of the ocean, right? And so this crew goes out, and they so find the like, ship oh, bound the ship. And, and there's this maritime law where if you find the ship and nobody else knows where the ship's from, then it's your ship. It comes your ship. On that said ship. And by the end of it, Donnie Soso becomes this, like, you know, half machine, half rotting corpse Donnie Soso, and it's worth it. Wow, that sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound like they're, it's as complicated as the good casts. Hunger Games is coming out, guys. Yeah. What's that one about again? <laughs> I don't know. It's about a book that they wrote about at first. I, I'll, I'll, read, I'll admit, I read the books. Blondie read the books. They're good. All three of All them. All three of them in like a couple weeks. That's from a guy who doesn't even like to read. And, and wow. it's like, you know, it's your typical, you know, bad dystopian future where the government controls all and they force the territories to send two kids each year to these games where they fight to death. Sort of like Battle Royale, which I heard they're right. making into a TV show on the WB. Jared Padalecki and mm-hmm. and Hillary Duff and Josh Hutcherson. Josh Hutcherson will be there. L O Cool J H. <laughs> <as I like. laughs> Doesn't excite you in a little bit in a little ways. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, not bad. She, she's either way uptown or way downtown. <laughs> Talking way downtown. Girl. Way downtown. You know what that's like. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe when he comes back, he can tell another story that goes nowhere and doesn't make any sense. I hope so. That's oh, hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> um, I got these delicious uh, green beans here. I was just kind of wondering if it sounded, if it made it sound cool if I ate them while we were talking. This is pretty much what it's like when I'm, I'm going to eat while I'm talking. Are those dried green beans? No, they sound fresh. They sound real fresh. Mm-hmm. I almost cut my mouth on them earlier because they're so fresh. I can I can almost taste. Not even cooked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, kill list. Which kill? What do you mean kill list? Remind you of rubber? Don't know. I, I like the fact that it says it's a first class nerve jangling horror film. How do you jangle nerves? Mm-hmm. Jangle keys. That's a baby trick, Blondie. Maybe if, maybe if your nerves are made of metal, then you can jangle them. Yeah. But then I wouldn't want to get one of those electronical alien viruses if I had metal nerves. Mm-hmm. That would really do some damage. It's Not only is it a first-class nerve-jangling horror film, but it will leave your bones rattling. So it's going to jangle your nerves and rattle your bones. You see, that's, that's, really the, uh, yeah. that's really the interesting paradox of the movie Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Sutherland is that it, they needed the humans to evolve to the next level. Of machine viruses. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like the Matrix almost. No? What isn't like the Matrix when it really comes down to it, guys? You know what I mean? You can bring everything back to the Matrix. Because the Matrix is about everything. It's true. It's, yes, and it's also like Keanu is a part of all. He's the, he's the wind in our souls. What is Keanu? Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, the, he's the cool breeze in our mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I know people are pumped about Dexter. Oh yeah, mm. we, we get it. He's a he's a serial killer. He kills. Us. I know, right? But talk about TV, man. Oh, we got House season eight coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, what we got? Fringe, The Office, Good Wife, Grey's Anatomy, Hung, Parks and Recreation, Bored to Death, it's craziness. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got Blondie's girlfriend. Uh, Brownie here. Um, you want to say <laughs> something? You want to say something on the podcast? Uh, what are we talking about this week? This is Brownie. Oh, hello there. Uh, we are, we were actually just talking about uh, new television in the next couple months. Anything you're excited about? Um, I don't know what's coming up. House season eight. House not for snack. All right, we're we're done here. We're out of here. He got a bobbly face and a bobbly nose. Mr. Bobble. He'll bobble you clean and soften your skin. Mr. Bobble. He'll bobble your nose and bobble your chin. It's so much fun when you hop in with.
Mr. Bubbles.